Right, here we go. Set. You know that light at the end of the tunnel we keep hearing about? For Oregon's TV and film industry, we found one such light in Troutdale. Dan Eason is general manager at Vision Stages, a new 36,000 square foot soundstage for TV, film, and commercial productions. It's in the old Thriftway building on Southeast Stark. And we've got a deli, obviously, from the old Thriftway. With Yoshida's gourmet sauces. Yoshida Group owns the property and considers Vision Stages a new business venture. Eason's grateful for that, especially given the timing. We started right before everything got shut down last year, uh, so we've taken that opportunity to do a bunch of building improvements. We switched up to LED lights, you know, so it makes them so they're not the buzzy old lights that we used to have. Now the next production's coming in here, we'll have a better space to work in. Thank you, Brenda Right now, Eason says he's in talks with two TV shows. He knows the industry well, having worked for years as an assistant location manager for Grimm, which was also shot in Portland. I want to be able to see that this um, industry survives here in Oregon. We want to help not just attract productions from you know Los Angeles or New York. We want to have like a Oregon-grown filmmaking community. We were one of the first industries actually to come back. Tim Williams is executive director of Oregon Film, the governor's office of film and television. He says unions established safety protocols last spring. By June, they were back doing commercials. And by summer, Portland crews resumed work on shows like Shrill and Chad. We can't be losers anymore. Why? After that, Williams says there was a lull in production. Now, there are new concerns networks have across multiple states, including Oregon. And what's the COVID situation? What's the health and safety situation? What's the weather going to look like? What are the wildfires going to look like? I mean, there's this whole set of things now. But things are looking up. Last month, TBS announced a new comedy pilot shot in Portland. It's called Kill the Orange-Faced Bear, starring Damon Waynes Jr. The plot? A man seeking revenge after a bear eats his girlfriend. Williams believes as more people get vaccinated, Oregon's film industry will continue to recover, an industry that brings the state 150 to $200 million a year. So I am getting a lot of people that are thinking about Oregon for the first time, and I'm also getting a lot of repeat offenders. You know, Netflix has done a lot here, Warner Brothers is a lot here, so they keep wanting to come back. And that's something Dan Eason we have 2,000 amps of power over here. Is counting on. When two networks want to come to Oregon, we have to be able to you know, have the infrastructure in place for them. It's over. We're done. Catherine Cook, KGW News.